My training is complete. I'm ready for what? That is a, that is a deadly asteroid careening towards my planet. Oh wait, no. Hang on. Yeah, that's just a PNG file. False alarm. That's just a PNG file slowly scrolling across the screen. Um, made by the developers in a shoddy attempt to. Oh my God. Okay. GG developers. Uh, you uh, you win. Also, what is that one? What, what that asteroid? What was that one? Must have been nothing. Uh, I can, I can, I, I can do a fake one too, though. Oh God! We're burning alive! Oh, there's fire everywhere! It's the end of the world! Ah! Hope you're ready, Rodney, because we're about to go into space. Hardcore. A decade of hard work and training will finally allow us to climb into this brainchild of wood and stone, the one creation of our people, and go where no whatever the hell this is has gone before, maybe. Oh wait, hang on, there's been a change of plan. Uh, turns out that our village has yet to accomplish anything other than building log houses. There's no way I'm getting in that spaceship. I bet it's powered by like rubber bands or something. I'm not getting in that thing. Here's that random asteroid again that just doesn't do anything. What? what what's that sound? Did it? Did it oh! What's that? What, wait, what, what is that? What's that sound? Oh my god! Game's over, I'm done. I took about five steps and then the universe exploded. <laughs> it was all just a horrible dream. Rodney was there. Doing the exact same thing he's been doing this entire time, just staring at that rock wall. You remember the launch codes. What? I'm not trained to fly this thing, what are you crazy? It's expecting me to get on that thing now, I'm f fucking nuts. I can't do that. It's just like driving a helicopter, which I have also never driven. Mm, yep, yep. Definitely like flying a helicopter. I mean, how could I go to space without first saying goodbye to all my fellow villagers? Goodbye, Craig! Uh, uh, I actually hated you the most. Never talk to me again. You know, hands down, John, I'm gonna miss you the most. I'm always gonna miss that way you just mindlessly stared up into the sky for no reason. What are you even looking at? What's up there? I don't see it. Probably thank God I don't see it, but bye. Where the hell do I go from here? Timmy, you of all people, I'm gonna miss the most out there. <laughs> you always know how to cheer me up. Is this, is this your rocket ship? What's that? You want me to, you want me to fly your rocket ship and show you how it's done now that I am a professional spaceman? I'll show you, all right. This one's for you, bud. Oh. Hey, Timmy, I, I think I, uh. History is being written right now, ladies and gentlemen. And we're, and we're that guy with the pen with the really shit handwriting that everyone's like, how did he even get this far? But yeah, he's still the one writing it. And here we go. This is the part where I write my masterpiece about history, about the world. I'm about to show you guys how to, how do I steer this thing again? I was never taught how to do this. Hold up. Oh yeah, I think it's broken. That's a few billion dollars we're not getting back. You just gotta put some elbow grease into it, you know? You just gotta jam yourself out of it and we are stuck. Yeah, we're stuck. And that is how you cripple the economy of your nation in about 15 seconds, give or take. All right, so uh, we built a new ship. It's been about 40 years since I tried to launch one. Um, I don't know why they're letting me pilot this one, but I've been practicing for a while on that probe thing that Timmy had, and I'm pretty confident this time that I learned absolutely nothing. Um, why am I spinning? I don't understand how this works. Oh, God. Oh, God. I mean, like... Is it really my fault that this is happening? I'm an adventurer, not a navigator, you know? It's like, I'm adventuring on the roof of this building right now. This is what these people wanted from me. That's why I'm an astronaut. And all these chubs are just watching for their log cabins. I'm gonna adventure to this wall. And now I think I'm gonna go and adventure out away from the solar system in the darkness of space. Intentionally. Because I, I wanted to get flung out into the middle of nowhere for no reason. Because there's nothing out here. Okay, I'm back from my adventure in the darkness of space outside the solar system. There was nothing out there. But, uh, I did learn that apparently I have autopilot. It took about 20 minutes to get back and we are hauling. Matter of fact, we might be hauling a bit too fast given the fact that we are going way too fast to stop the- Oh god! <laughs> Be 
space as hell. <laughs> Back into space. Putting the launch codes. See, my problem last life is that I was doing stuff that was too loose cannon. You gotta go easy. You gotta ease into the skills, like landing on the moon. Easy. Textbook. Uh, not gonna lie, it's shocking that it has more foliage on it than our planet does, but it seems that we've located a moon man. By the sound of it, he seems to, uh, have a real, real on fire mixtape. And it's sort of, this is the moon? All, all this right here, we have a plywood house and a fire. And that radio is just a rock. Oh, it's Craig, everyone. So what this guy just told me is that he likes shelling our village with probes from the moon. And this is how we deal with filthy terrorists. And he's dead now. Let's leave before somebody asks too many questions and let's explore the rest of this beautiful, beautiful galaxy. Didn't take much consideration to realize that honestly, this is the only planet worth exploring in this entire solar system. I mean, look at it. It's a gigantic clusterfuck of vines and shit. It's gonna save my entire planet. Cause I mean like, honestly the one thing we seem to be lacking is timber given the fact that seems to be our only resource. We had like two trees on the planet. We need this. We need to conquer this planet. So I'm going to explore it for my nation. I will be remembered for my work here on whatever this place. It's really foggy. Captain's, Captain's log, log, number, number one. one. The, the planet's, planet's a little bitch and needs to man up. I just slapped it once and it started screaming. I don't know if my, I don't know if my people are gonna like that. Regardless, we must push forward into the fog. This place is strange. What is this? What is this light I see before me? I can't tell. I see strange, strange glowy lava lines. And I think to myself, this place is a true beauty. A beauty never before seen by human eyes. I must get closer. I must approach this light. That is not a light! That is not a light! Get out of the light! Oh, God! <laughs> it wasn't a light, man! Back into space. Gotta go back into space. There's no time to not be spacing it up. Uh, let's see, the next planet on our list here is called the Brittle Hollow. As you can expect from that name, this planet suffered from years of mental abuse. His family hated him. He probably watched his puppy Dinkle Snorf get eaten by a sentient snake monster and a bramble thing. And now literally to top that all off, I'm about to get inside of him. How fucked up is this game? Jesus Christ. Everything looks pretty normal on the surface. We've got a, uh, we got a lovely fireplace to cook some, cook some nice marshmallows. Uh, the sky is looking starish. As planned, it's pretty normal to be honest. But hold the phone, motherfucker, because I was right all along. This planet isn't just a shell. It's actually got a black hole on the inside. So really, my observation was spot on. And we have slipped off the planet. We are now careening into a black hole. Um, maybe we have the fuel to get away from this? Uh, if we push this way, we might be able to. We're out of fuel. I am going into a black hole now. And I'm out of a black hole now. Um, they just spat me out in the middle of the darkness of space. Not gonna lie, a little bit bummed. L little, just, just a little bit bummed. I'm going to die now. Oh, there's my ship. 23 kilometers away. You know, it's a really good thing that this suit has such a limited oxygen supply. Cause you know, nothing's more comforting when you're constantly being reminded that every single time you breathe, you're gonna die just a little bit sooner. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Excellent news, everybody. So it turns out that my uh, suit has an autopilot function. Bad news is, it autopiloted me into the sun. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, because look, my ship is on the other side. 15 kilometers away, it's on the other side of the sun, and- ah! <laughs> The sun! The fucking sun, Rodney! The sun. Is it here right now? Is it listening? I gotta go. Space, you know? Final destination is a comet, ladies and gentlemen. Get excited because it's about to get real in here as I land on a rock of ice. That's all it is. We're landing on this comet. Look at this. 
We just landed on a fucking comet. People call me an amateur! Oh my god. My ship is gone. I, I stepped out of it for like 10 seconds to take a piss, and when I came back it had blasted into space, and now it's actually... It it's gone. It's just gone. It left me. I'm pretty low on oxygen. Um, not gonna lie. Would have been pretty cool if I had been able to survive out here. But I guess I'm just not cut out for space. I uh, guess I'll just stare longingly into the sun. And slowly... <laughs> 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 You can go on the space mission! I'm done with this shit! I'm getting- I'm going back to my- going back to my log cabin. And, yep, lost the keys. Okay. My recording button is now the multiply key. We are gonna see if when I press this button, it ends the world. Alright. Okay, here we are. Here we are, stuff's calm. Things are fine. Things are fine, everything's calm. And now... That ends the world. F12 ends the world. F12 ends the world. I just... E Rodney, I'm sorry, I ended the world, apparently. There's the sun. And now F12... The sun explodes. The sun just fucking exploded. Wow. I wonder if there's a way I can get far enough away from it to, uh, not die. Alright, here we go. Here we go, you ready for this? Bada bing. Where is it? It didn't matter. Looks like, uh... Looks like the death was meaningless to us. We are now invincible. I mean, uh, we really made a lot of victory here. We, um, are officially now alone in space. Okay, um, actually, uh, no we aren't, um, oh my god, it didn't matter, where is it, where's the end of the world, oh god!